Excuse me, sorry, I'm still choking on a bit of waffle. Part of the reason I love YouTube is because sometimes my job revolves around how entertainingly how entertaining I can be in in the chat while describing that I'm late to a stream because I'm eating a waffle. Sometimes it's just like, well, I'm 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 shoving down this waffle and people are complaining I'm late. I need to create a comedic situation from this waffle in order to entertain people for a second. Sometimes, you know, not many jobs are gonna ask you to do that, but that's the one I'm in, and that's the one I'm proud to be in. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboats YouTube. Welcome, everybody, to Failboats YouTube. I introduce it every time, it never really changes too much. Dude, I never realized that there are airplanes in this world. You guys ever realize that? There are airplanes here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, new Splatfest. Hold up, quiet people in chat. Well, I guess you don't have to be quiet. You don't produce any audio. You know, you just produce text, visual information. Anyway, give me one second, hold on. New Splatfest. Give, give it a second. Wait, okay, here we go. No Splatfest. <gasps> I wonder what it's gonna be. I already know what it's gonna be. It's bad. Anyway. Yo, Marina, what's the Splatfest theme this time? Too nervous to look. Well, we got. We got. Give it, give it a second. There it is. Sweaters versus socks. Which lousy gift would you rather get? Dumb socks or an ugly sweater? <coughs> How about neither? No one wants to open up that on oct Octavus morning. Or, uh, Squidmas morning. Whichever holiday you um, happen to celebrate. That reminds me, I have to create my holiday opening. Because I, if you guys don't know, I, I, have, a, I have a holiday intro that I say. In, instead of, well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, I actually change it up uh, every holiday season. And uh, I need to get my holiday opening ready. I have to do the mods. Uh, <laughs> DM me on... D no, I don't. I was going to say, I can just use the mods as a way to remind me about doing that later. Or I could just type it into my browser to remember it later. Do holiday opening. Beautiful. I love using the Google search engine as a reminder system. Because I always check my tabs whenever I lose whenever I leave my computer. Anyway! The chat is rabid about their preference. Let me show that for a second. I'll just read the text. So, I feel ya. But if I had to choose, I'd go with the sweater. A sweater shows they at least put a little effort into finding a gift. Plus, you can return a sweater for more money than socks. Yeah, I guess, but returning gifts is always such a hassle. Let's be real. I'll still be in the box for uh, blah 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 in two years from now. At least you can hide socks under your pants and shoes. No one has to know. It could be your ugly, uh, uh, your little foot secret. What if they're toe socks? Uh, that's a good sound effect for throwing up. All right. Oh my God, that sounds. I love that face from Pro. I love that face. It's adorable. All right, and there's a new update. That's right, new weapon came out. The uh, 89. Yeah, the NZAP 89 came out. I played it a little bit off camera. It's 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 the normal NZAP. I like the nor I like the normal NZAP um, kit better. I think this one's interesting. I don't really get it. <laughs> Maybe it's a more support based build. Excuse me, sorry, builds make me get it's more. Maybe it's a more support based build. But uh, I'm not I'm not really about the 89 life. The summer of 89. Anyway. So, the question on people's minds, probably not, but I know the question I've been asked a little bit, uh, is, uh, Failbo, what team are you on? Dude. You know. You should already know what team I'm on. Maybe you don't. <laughs> I love this! <laughs> this almost made me go. Team Socks. But no. You know what team I'm on? I'm on Team Sweater. Yo, I would love an ugly sweater. I would love an ugly sweater. I would rock that. If I ever get ugly sweaters, man, I rock it. If it's if it's a sock, it's a trader, no nah, man, dude. If it's a sock, I can't rock it as well. Why are you hiding a gift from a family member? I don't care if it's ugly. I'll rock that sweater. I will rock that sweater! You are hiding something that someone made you? That, that's cruel! I don't care how ugly it is, you gotta rock that! The sweater is the more mature, respectful of the two groups! 
Dan, this isn't an ugly sweater. Oh, no. It's a bad sweater? I'll rock that bad sweater. I'll make that bad sweater look good. I have confidence in my style. I have confidence I can make it work. Now we're talking. Anyway. We're doing some fail fleet battles. I added a bunch of you guys before the stream. I told you guys. By the way, um, if you guys want to be added into this group, I've already added a bunch of people. Um, but send more friend of code requests and I'll add more people at the halfway point in the stream. Uh, that being said, actually, I do want to take one thing. I want to check like, one thing. So I slowly want to build a look for this squid. So, okay. For those who don't know, I actually have a, um, a look in Splatoon now that I'm trying to get down and, uh, wait. Ha, I can't actually buy any clothing. <laughs> That's right, I forgot about that. Dude, let me just like play one quick play match. Let me do one quick play match so I can actually buy clothing. But um, yeah, my, my Splatoon squid actually has a little bit of a look that I want to try and make uh, sort of iconic to, to my squid. Um, in order to do that, I, I, I need to be able to wear it a lot. But unfortunately right now, um, I changed gears so much on my main account. It, you know, I, I it wouldn't make sense for me to always be wearing it. Either way. I want to- I want to get the gear on the Fail Fleet account in order to, like, every stream. Because I, I never change how I look in the Fail Fleet account. I never play in the Fail Fleet account. So, you know, I want to make sure I always look like- like- like the character icon I wish to represent. How's it going, people? I have the chat open. Let's talk for a little bit. The Fail Fleet battles have not begun, so I don't mind talking a little bit. Yo, do you see Fail- uh, Fishy- Fisher's vid on socks. Yes, I did. I find it funny how he was making jokes about socks, and then all of a sudden there is just straight up a team socks. Like, it's very respectable. Mm. Ah. But yeah, so for people who are who are just watching this without realizing, this is in the meantime. It's my Saturday stream. Normally, I do three games, um, but because I did like an eight-hour Breath of the Wild stream yesterday, because I started a little bit late today due to outside circumstances, um, I'm just going to make it a two-game stream today. I might make Fail Fleet Battles a little bit extra longer, but for the second part of the docket, we got Jackbox, or more specifically, Quiplash with the moderators. Now, normally, I would let in anyone who wants to join in. However... I want to give the moderator something special. I want to take care of my crew a little bit. And I feel like I haven't been taking care of you guys. You guys have been doing a lot for me, and I haven't been doing a lot to give back. And I want to, uh, I want to give them, uh, give them something that they've been wanting for a little bit, which is the Fail Fleet, uh, not the Fail Fleet, sorry, um, the, uh, the Jackbox Party Pack thing. Uh, because we got a new thing. We got, we got a, we got a pack for... Fillable references. It's, it's like we, we, we literally have a question prompt. We have a question prompt of Failboat things of like fillable questions and channel questions and memes and stuff like that um, What's happening the game is stuck in permanent loading. Oh, yeah, what is happening here? Is this like a thing that's happening? It says the game is full. Is this like a new thing? That's irritating. <laughs> Neat. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Please, ink inking your spot makes me gaseous. Um, what was that? We must pray the cheese. Dan, oh, uh, what about if there is an empty... Hold on. What about if there's an empty space? Can lifeboats join then? See, I wasn't sure if I want to include lifeboats in this. Don't get me I love life. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love all you guys. Don't let, don't let it be a specific to lifeboat thing. I love the lifeboats too. You know, I love all you guys. I don't want to spread the... Oh, it, yeah. Thanks, Pearl Marina. Let me heal these guys again. Um, and they talk about how Sheldon blabs a lot. Meanwhile, gosh. Irony. But um, normally I would let the, the lifeboats in. But I think for this one, I just want to have it as mods. Just for this one. For other ones, I'll probably have you guys in. Um, but for this one, I just want to have a little mod outing. Now, of course, you know, if we get some, if we get down some mods and we can't, like, and, you know, things aren't working out or something like that. Yeah, I guess I can find, I'm fine with adding mods. Well, with, um, 
felt with a uh, help me uh, life boating sorry about that but uh for, for now it's just gonna be a um just a moderator thing just for now just for now anyway hop in there okay so now hopefully I'll actually be able to play a game real fast so I can actually buy clothing for my poor squid here goodness me they're under level they need some power so right now, yeah, oh, there we go, we actually have a group. Um, in the docket for, like, people I'm gonna be playing with in the Jackbox section, we got <coughs> Azen, Goobs, Talo, and Rare Trin. And then potentially, hopefully, Jelly. But they have not responded yet. I would love to get Jelly in. Jelly has some fun answers. I, I, like, I like seeing what we get from it. Also, I just remembered I'm now playing with the Pro Controller. Normally, I mean, normally I don't play with the Pro Controller. I've just been loving the Pro Controller recently in other games. So I was like, you know what? Let me play Splatoon with the Pro Controller. Let's see how, you know, let's see if it's that bad. And I actually had a little bit of fun with it. I still greatly prefer um, using the... Um, I still greatly prefer using the Joy-Cons, the Split Joy-Cons. But... Oh, what, what's up with Langston? Langston, move! <laughs> but, um... I, I, I definitely... What's happening here? We squid partying? No! Okay, okay. I think I think this guy gets a menu. Hey, what's this guy doing? Hey! No, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to kill that guy! I sincerely did not mean to kill that guy! I wanted to kill the person attacking! I'm so sorry. I feel bad now, man. I've, I've caused a, a horrible spike. I, I've, I've plagued this area with a spike. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. No, no, it's you that's gotta die. Don't walk in front of me again. It's you that's gotta die. Oh, I mean, that guy died too. That guy wasn't feeling it. What's happening right now? Are we down players? No, stop this, you. X. X is gonna give it to you? No, I'm gonna give it to you, X. I'm gonna rotate slowly. Up, up, slip. No, I, I gotta give it to X. X is gonna give it to you. I gotta give it to X. I know I just said that, but it's really kind of fun to say. Hold on. Wait, can I do, like, the beacon rotate? Okay, there we go. There we go. No! Stop this. Stop this, X! It's not okay, my dude. You're picking with the, the wrong level three. You're picking with the wrong level three. Dude, am I just going to get another kill on X? Come towards me. Come towards me, X. Do it. Do it. Hello. Woo! Woo! Haha, <laughs> got ya. Dude, I actually ran the guy over. Feels good. Okay, what's happening here? Of course. Dude, they're just mapping. Yellow is just mapping. Makes me a little bit mad. Makes me a little bit sad. We're trying to have a fun little time. They out here going a bit too hard for my preference. We gotta try and retaliate. Normally I'm all for parties, but when we're, you know, when we're getting betrayed like this, feels a little bit bad, man. Feels a little bit bad. Hello, X. Hello, X. X, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> I tried. I tried to give it to you, X. I tried to give it to you. Rip. Well, we tried. We tried. At least now we'll still be level four, which is all I really end up, and you know really care about. Being level four is all I need. Do they have two swoosh? They have two swoosh. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got destroyed. Understandable. We had one disconnect, and and I, I don't believe two people were trying to paint. <laughs> there we go. Sixty-nine five, baby. That's the good stuff. And there's the level. That's all we needed. <laughs> Victory Screech! Reed! Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna be answering friend, uh, friend requests for like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, like halfway through the segment of the stream. Just because, like, I've already done it before the stream, I don't wanna do it right now. Uh, the square. Octo Canyon, help me. Right, no, we're going over here. Yeah, the best way to be added to the Failfully games is to show up early for the stream. Like, if you see the stream in your, in your uh, docket thing, just be like, oh, okay, here he comes, uh, the stream in, like, 30 minutes or something. Cool, I should be, like, there, like, if you get like, here 10 minutes early. Oh, my God, please. 
I didn't mean for this. I want. I didn't want to go to your shop, Sheldon. Please. There we go. Okay. Right over here. And is there any any clothing that's part of my normal kit? No, it is not. So I can just keep on moving on. All right. Now, let's do some battles. Sorry the for the ex excess delay. Let's do some failfully battles. It's been a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. I love that music, man. If that's even music. Here we go. We're going to create a room with no password. Just hop in, man. Just hop in. We need to do a Bakugan battle brawlers battle. Dude, Bakugan is coming back. Hands up in chat if you guys know my history with Bakugan. Hands uh, down in chat if you don't know my history with Bakugan. I'm not sure what a hand down emoji is, but um, I'm sure you guys can find it. The good stuff. The good stuff. But yeah. Puts hand up. Puts hand up. Oh, oh, we do have some hands down. We do have some hands down. So if you guys don't know, um, I'm actually the second best Bakugan player in the world. Or technically in the nation. I'm, th I'm not even kidding. Also, by the way, real fast. Katie's at level 66. I'm sorry. What? Katie. We also have two level 44s. Viper Salt, you need to be one level higher. Q, you also need to be one level higher. That would, that would have been perfect symmetry. That being said, we're going to go to uh, real fast tower control, random stage. Let's just go into it. Three games today. Me and Viper Salt are going to be on spectator, and we're just going to go right into it. Anyway, I am actually... Uh, wait, purple unicorn shape. You didn't know Bakugan was a game? Yeah, no, it's more than a show. It, it, is, it is a game. But yeah, I'm actually second best uh, at Bakugan player in the nation. Not even kidding. So, Bakugan... Um, during its popular, during its popularity, during its popularity, um, I played it, and I went to the regionals in New York, um, I competed with a bunch of other kids, got to be, got in the top eight, I believe, I, no, I got second place in, in my regional, then I qualified for nationals, which un unfortunately was in New York, so I didn't get to travel anywhere luxurious. It was I just went back to New York a week later, um, and I got second place in the nationals. So uh, how about that? I got a big old forty-two inch flat screen from it, and the recognition of being able to tell this story later on, you know, eight years from now, eight years from then. Um, and I did that even before YouTube was a thing, so I just want to give you guys that quick history. Like, it, it was a fun one. I, I, I heard Bakugan was coming back, so I'm looking forward to... Dude, I'm just saying, man. I'm going to be playing Bakugan. If it comes back in full, you guys better get ready for some Bakugan content on the channel. Because, like, I'm doing it. Like, I, I am the largest Bakugan player in the, in the world right now. Probably. I would say I'm the most known Bakugan player. Now... Am I known for playing Bakugan? <laughs> no. But, am I probably the highest placing Bakugan player who's also the best, who also the most popular Bakugan player in the world? I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, uh, I don't know how popular Bakugan was. <laughs> and I, I don't remember, I don't know how many people placed highly in it because it's been a long time and it didn't age too well because it died after that one competition. So it never happened again. So, uh, you know. Anyway, that being said. That being said. Wow, what to talk about, man. We had the Game Awards that happened recently. Dude, the Video Game Awards. Hands up in chat if you watch that. Hands down if you didn't. Like, wow. The bot, the bot, I'm sorry. It's on my brain. The, um, the Video Game Awards were so cool. We, now, of course, there were some, uh, interesting moments that weren't quite family friendly. But... Dude, Breath of the Wild won best game. Dude, Slime Rancher was no dude. Tomacho, look at Tomacho go! Dude, Tomacho was doing some work right there. They were running through the bullets and now they're just clinging to the side like a dung beetle. Goodness me. Sorry, I'm not trying to compare my viewers to dung beetles, but more specifically, the way that they were standing just seemed like one. Anyway. Um, so yeah, in the um in the uh, video game awards. So Slime Rancher nominating. Nominated for one of the best indie games. For, for the best indie game of the year. 
That blew me away. I, I was so happy to see that. See, Galaxy. I was so happy to see that. Wow, the, the double want to play ball was so good there. I was just so happy to see that, man. Slime Rancher, if you guys don't know, uh, was a thing on my channel for a while. And also, in my opening. Here, I'll play my opening real fast. Wait for it. That little meow. That's from Slime Rancher. So you guys have been listening to Slime Rancher for a long time, so... Great stuff to them. I mean that. I mean that sincerely. Like I'm gonna be playing some of that game soon, um, because seriously, that game blew me away with how much fun it was, and I can't wait to play some more of it. Um, I should have played some for today's stream. Well, no, because I wanted to do a two-section thing. Next, maybe next Saturday, I'll I'll pick up Slime Rancher a little bit because I know they got a big update. So things have been uh things have been moving along. Either way, in, like, speaking of the game, you know, I should probably talk about that every so often. Um, no, blue has been dominating so far. Yellow has not been able to get their footing in. And Frankie just hiding a lot. How did he back here? That ink mine now on point. Also, sorry, ink mines made me remember the uh, upcoming patch for some reason. Um, so, next week, Splatoon is getting a new patch. Um, it's getting some... Or rather, it's getting a new game mode. It, you know, we're getting, we're gonna be getting Clam Blitz. Um, we're going to be getting, I believe, the new weapon, which is like a champagne bottle, the Squeezer, the Squeezer. That's what it's called. Um, we're also going to be getting, uh, I, I believe, just general patch stuff. I forget if there's anything else, but I, I know that there's patch stuff, like the Duelies now do 30 damage instead of 28. Um, uh, look, look, man, Splatoon is going crazy. Splatoon is going crazy. They just keep on adding new things, and I, you know, I, I've fallen in love with the game all over again. Um, it's been actually insane. It's been actually insane. I'm, I'm so hyped for Clan Blitz. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm really looking forward to it. What was it? Oh, yeah, someone in chat asked me what Bakugan I used. So I actually used, um, Pyrus Bakugan, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I used Pyrus Bakugan, uh, majorly. You know, I'll keep chat on, whatever. Um, I usually used uh, Pyrus Bakugan, and I dabbled a little bit in, um, oh, what was it? What was the neutral one? Ventus was air. Darkest was dark. What was, um, the, the white one? What was the white thing? No, Darkest was cool. Um, it's been so long. Wow. Vent does this start with an H or something? What was it? Chaos! It was Chaos! I knew it started with an H. Yeah, Chaos. Chaos. Yeah, I, I, I did. I was a, I used a little bit of Chaos. But I usually played um Pyrus. Wow. Dude, saying those words makes me nostalgic. That's really funny. <laughs> um, Dave, how would you rate Splatoon in general? Uh, for 1 to 10? 10. This game is like, fabulous. Um, also, GG's to blue team there. Good jobs, good jobs. Hands up in chat if you called that they were going to win. Or rather, just say one. If you, if you didn't call that, you call it correct. Katie with 27 kills! Katie, you, you're banned in my streams. You can't be in the games! That's too good! 27 kills? It's like pub stomping! Alright, we're gonna do Rainmaker. Going back into it. Goodness me. Viper Salt? What? Do we have two disconnects? Weird. Well, I believe Katie is, or, or, yeah, Kitty is the last one to join, so that, you know, we're just gonna roll it like that. Try hard. I hate try harding, man. No, 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 no. Excuse me. I hate when, I hate the calling out of try harding. I don't, it, it's, it, that's a, such a horrible excuse. Eh, try hard. I don't like it. Tryharding, the, 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 the verb to describe tryharding, I just don't like it. I don't get it. You're playing a, vi you're playing a video game. The whole concept of the game is playing it how you want to play it. If you want to play to win, you can play to win. If you want to play to have fun, then you play to have fun. If someone's being a rude and not following the meta of the server, then they're being rude. You know? Tryharding is just, it, it gives a, it gives like a bad taste. I don't like the name. People's goals just didn't align with your own. No reason to start name calling it. Exactly. Dies in a friendly party. Friendly, uh, friendly 
friendly game uh, about shooting. Exactly. It's a friendly game. Or uh, friendly playing a game about shooting. Try hard. Exactly. Like the people in, in that game that we were playing were uh, in, in our in our turf war match. Look. They were try harding. But I don't like that expression. Because technically, we were not playing the game as it was supposed to be played. They were the ones playing the game. As it was supposed to be. I don't like the term. I don't like the term. Also, dude, I love this name, though. Big Burger. That's such a great tag. Dude, this is why I love just seeing Splatoon and being... Uh, and just seeing a, a large variety of names at once. The name Big Burger is just so 10 out of 10. Also, let's go Viper Salt with that triple kill. That was real solid, like... Actually, dude, Viper Salt is rolling. Oh, he can't get up the hill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Viper. No! Sorry, Viper Salt. It's not like that was caught on camera or anything. <laughs> but, um, just laugh it off, my dude. Just laugh it off. That was a good triple, I will say. That's funny. What console do you play Splatoon on? That would be the Nintendo Switch. A beautiful little console if you haven't heard of it before. It's not that popular. Um... It's, it's definitely not near as popular as the Wii U. The Wii U, the, I, the Switch will never be able to outsell the Wii U, as far as I can, as far as I'm concerned. Never, it will never be able to do it. Meanwhile, though, Taylor Hill with a ring. <laughs> Enough of my lies and deceit. So actually, this game is like pretty. This game is pretty good right now. Uh, we have a very kind of even score. Like no one's really pushed too far. A, a, a 68 push. That's like nothing too crazy right now. But uh, Camel coming in here, going to be trying to grab the Rainmaker and try and make that play from 68 to something a lot better. I think if they can get over this hill. See, this is the issue. <laughs> Both teams are just trying to brute force this game over the hill. Both teams are just like, all right, what I'm gonna do is push it up directly where the other three people are standing. And they can't brute force it enough. Viper Salt got a good idea going on. I like what Viper Salt's doing. They're trying to scout the area beforehand, clear up the area, and then go in with their team with the Rainmaker. That's a smart play. Viper Salt knows, knows what's up. Right now, Big Burger, though, immediately getting uh, focused on by that uh, end zap play coming out from the enemy team. Blue just hanging above, raining fire down from below. Or from above, rather. Q jumping behind, gonna be getting Viper Salt. Or at least the rainy grids. Gonna be putting some pressure on that roller too. It's a good game. It's a good game so far. I like games that don't end in two seconds, and that's always the worry I have with Rainmaker. You never know. You never know, man. A Rainmaker game could just end in like one second. Wow. Q with a really strong. That was hilarious. <laughs> That was legit, like, yo, can we just play back the, um, the Mario death sound? Like, do 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 Or maybe that was Kirby. That was amazing. They make that amazing double play. Q makes that amazing double play just for a roller to land on them. Just for the roller to run off the stage. Accidentally. That was kind of great. Oh, also, so another thing that's coming in. Wow, this is a couple. This is a couple. Um, in the upcoming patch thing, in the upcoming patch thing, uh, we got new map changes, like a bunch of new map changes. Um, you guys, I, I, I don't remember them all. There, there's so many, I cannot remember it. Also, wow, dude, green almost had that push. Wait, wait, oh, dude, green has the push. No one's alive on blue. This is a free push for green. They've taken the lead! Wow! Everyone had died. Seven people had died. And that's all Green needed to get in there and get that point. Now, dude, Katie's egg. Okay. Katie try hard mode activated. Alright, yeah, here we go. <laughs> dude, Katie try hard mode activated. That's all she needed. She was just messing around before. Now here she comes. Also, dude, I kind of like how Rallet is waiting in the wings up there. That's a smart play. Katie Dryhard mode activated. I like to imagine just the woke eyes just appear on Katie's skin. It's like, Pfft. all right, dude. I want to see Katie's E leader play. I'm ready for this. Okay. Good job, Katie. <laughs> 
You're, you're accurately doing what every E-Leader player would do in that situation. Die. That's <laughs> so good. Tomacho, though, trying to make their place. This is Green's last push. It's got 60... Oh, yeah, no, that's it. It was 63 on the on the board. Oh, no. Q! Q! <laughs> we lost them, boys. We lost them. Q is falling over. Falling off deck. Feel bad for Q there. Feel bad for Q. All right. Let's get back into it. We got one more game, at least. GG's to all the players. One more game. Also, not at least. We just literally have one more game. And then... We're gonna be getting in a bunch of new people. Uh, we're gonna do splat zones, random stage, just ready up. Uh, it's gonna be me and Camel sitting out. Bam! I should probably wait. Okay, <laughs> probably figure out what buttons to press for that. There we go. There we go. How's everyone doing today? Yo, we're still two sponsors away from a new emote. And we're four sponsors away. Just four sponsors away from me doing a full Let's Play of any video game with the disclaimer of it needs a story and it has to be family friendly. Or it has to have like a genuine, a gen, a general narrative. It has to be some game that I can play with a definite endpoint. We are two sponsors away from that Thinkling emote, which you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right now. And we're two more from that away from a Let's Play of anything. It could be Cuphead. You could see me play Cuphead. And rage at that. You could see me play Dark Souls. I would accept Dark Souls. Brick Bronze is a narrative. Yeah, but please don't make me play Brick Bronze. <laughs> please do not make me play Brick Bronze. <laughs> really not like that. I'm taking Roblox off the table. I, I, I'm taking Roblox off the table. I'm sorry. I don't have the heart for it. Unless, like, every one of the sponsors wants it. If everyone unanimously and unanimously, unanimously wants it, I'll do it. But, I think there are better games for me to play. Such as not Roblox, please. Anyway, this game's starting off pretty well. This game's starting off very even. I like it. Oh, it doesn't like Roblox? No, I don't, I don't like Roblox. <laughs> I, I do not care for it. <laughs> also, no, we're on Starfish main stage. I love this stage so much, but I don't like how it blocks the camera view whenever I go over here. It's a little bit frustrating. Nothing too crazy. Dude, Tomacho going in there with the... I believe that's, the, that's still the Crack-On Roller. The Crack-On Roller is still like really on point, though. Big burger. The big burger. Rocking. What is that? Is this the Amperies? Yeah, those are Amperies. I had to take a. Well, for some reason, I didn't immediately look at the special and sub. Those are the Amperies, man. And the Amperi dualies. These things were made for flanking. These things were built for being a flank type player. Like, this is a weapon where the Amperi dualies. They are a weapon that can support themselves on their own. They have the inkjet to get away and handle awkward situations. They have the curling bombs for mobility, and they have that dodge roll. It's like a really good kit. Halo, though, being approached upon by a couple different people right now. Dude, Tomacho, Tomacho, running in there with a the baller, going to not be getting anyone thanks to that good, well-spaced rolling. But this is looking pretty definitively like Green's game. Let's see, man. It's a combination of all the... Oh, dude, this is it. This is it. The bomb rush there, that secures the win. Good stuff from every from all the players here. But that is going to be it for these three players. Don't go anywhere. Um, we're going to add... We all, you know what? Let's add some more people. Let's add some more people in, into the... Um, onto my Switch. So everyone in chat uh, who hasn't already added me, to exclamation point FC in chat, add that friend code. Um, send a friend road code to that... Send a friend request to that friend code. Um, and I'm going to be adding people and we're going to go back in. I'm going to add like, I don't know, like 10 to 20 people. Also, if you sent one before, um, if you sent one before, I recommend sending a new one. I'll give you guys like 10 seconds. 
mash a code in me real fast. If I was a sponsor, I'd tell you to play some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. Dude, I missed that game. That game was really good. That game was really good. Do you like the Switch? <laughs> Do I like the Switch, they ask. Do I like the Switch? Well, take a look at my playtime of these video games. And you tell me if I like the Switch. Because I'm fairly certain I have over, like, 600 hours of game time in this console already. Probably, yeah, I think I think over 600 hours. I think, like, at that point, I know it's not the most, but look. At that point, I think it's fair to say you like a console. Whoops, I forgot I have to add people. <laughs> if I was a sponsor, I'd make damn play Roblox. Well, look. Phil, how do I friend you? By doing exclamation point FC in chat and then take that friend code and then punch it into your switch and then here we go. <coughs> friend requests. Well, that's not friend request. No, what's happening? What did I press? Alright, there we go. Friend requests. Binding of Isaac is a family friendly game, right? It's very much not. Alright, let's add some people. Let's add like 10 to 20 people. Just a mash for a little bit. Chat, tell me about your day. I'll talk about, I'll give commentary about your day. You see, I do good when I use my main and my right gear. Yeah. Add me because I'm a sponsor, Purple Unicorn Chief. Oh, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Actually, let me do that real fast. Just to make sure. Uh, Fluff Sona. Is this like an Etz thing? Uh, I don't know your icon off the top of my head, so I have to go by the name. And I don't see it yet. And I don't see it yet. Uh, uh, I don't see it. Can, can I watch can I watch a clip real fast? Probably not right now. If you want to send it to me on Twitter, I, I, can, I can pull it up. Is this is you. I reached the pink llama from Animal Crossing. Oh, that's right. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, Pony. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, cool. Awesome. Is Cooper's Cooper's world? Did you add me or do you? I thought you didn't have a switch. I, I thought you didn't have a switch. I forget. My brain hurts. I love this what, though. All right, let me add some more people. Oh, also, uh, before I do that, let me just quickly set you as a best friend so I don't remove you in the future. Ba bam ba bam ba bam Thank you very much for the sponsor and uh, appreciation of the streams. All right. Um, hold on. Right, I friend. Sorry, brain farted. <laughs> Re-autocorrect. <laughs> this message isn't getting shown. <laughs> yeah, okay, I didn't think you had a switch. Cool. Dude, chat's a little bit wild, man. Chat's wild. Chat, what's going on with you guys? You guys see crazy. You guys seem a bit crazy today. Can I get the same people in the chat talking a little bit? <laughs> Can I get some sane comments? Give me, give me like a. Can I get like like? Could someone just like start copy and pasting sentences from Homer's Odyssey? Just some like really well worded statements. Just to just to balance out the people asking me to sing Friday. When is Jackbox party? Uh, probably not for a little bit. It was probably gonna be at seven o'clock, but I wanna extend it back a little bit because I I I um I would love your reaction on stream. I can do, I can do it real fast. If it's like a thirty second thing, I can I can pull it up real fast. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Oh, it's 10 seconds. Oh, this is fine. Um, all right. Whoa! Yo, you got tr What? Dude! I was wondering where that was going. That was a good kill. People don't know what I'm talking about. Here, I got one more person. This person. Here we go. That's it. That's it. We're pulling out. Bam. Mash B. Beautiful. Let's get back into some games here. Bam. Lobby. Why would you play Jackbox on YouTube? Twitch is much easier because it makes things easier for the people to understand. Uh, well, because YouTube is my main source on streaming and I wanted to make it a streamed episode. 
And also because, like, it shouldn't still be that hard. Like, like the the general... I mean, the only people that are going to be playing the game specifically are the people that are going to be in a call. Um, hold on, what's happening? Right, private battle. I, I had a brain fart for a second. All right, ready. Create a room! <coughs> um, we're going to have a password on this one, though, to mix it up. Six, four, seven, nine. Six, four, seven, nine, go! Who can make, who can be the fastest typer? Who can do it? Be strong, saith my heart. I am a soldier. I have seen war sights than this. <laughs> Thank you too, Noah. <laughs> then you'll ever stream your Minecraft server again. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> Meanwhile, in chat, <laughs> play. Hello neighbor. Hello neighbor. Hello neighbor. Hello neighbor. Hello neighbor. You know, Wub Nub, just for you. No. <laughs> Maybe one day I will play that, but like, probably not. All right, chat, can I have some water? Look, why are you asking me? <laughs> chat, you guys are weird right now. I don't, what? All right, anyway. So, go in here, Rainmaker, ready up. Let's just go right into it. Me. Lathe, let's do it. Bam. Ugh, Kitty was already in it though. What, did Kitty rejoin? Did Kitty rejoin? Wait! Hey, Kitty! I'm sorry, I just readied up without even saying anything. Oh, I, I thought people already knew the rules. I, I forgot, I should just say the rules again. Um, guys, if you, um, I, I, I will say that was on me for not restating the rules. Um,. If you guys uh, play in any of the games today, uh, I just ask that you guys don't play in any other games today. Um, you can join in on future streams, but if you make it in on one game, just don't join in another game. Because otherwise it, like, gives less time. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to spread the love and let as many people in as possible. Katie, I'll forgive it this time because I, I forgot to say the rules. But, um... Yeah, see, I was worried that they would disconnect. Uh, because now we have an uneven team. Um... Can I, like, quit out of a match? I, I was hoping that they would stay in for just the game. Um... <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Could, um... Could one of the people on green just, uh, not do anything? <laughs> I'll give you an extra shout out if whoever's on green if, if, if like one person on green could just you know hang back and chill for a little bit If we got what we so we can get a 3v3. I'll give you an extra shout out A 3v3 splatoon you can just walk around and, and just spectate. I'd really appreciate that Spacey Lou says they're gonna be doing it or I guess one of the people on orange All right, Spacey Lou is gonna be doing it I'll, let, I'll everyone else can everyone else can hop in then. Everyone's so polite. <laughs> everyone's so polite. Dude, now it looks like green is the disconnect. Or now it looks like orange is the disconnect. No one on orange wants to hop in. Alright, it looks like we do have some people running in there now. But I mean it's just Rainmaker, so it might just end really fast. Like, yo, shoutouts to uh shout outs to, to Nether and and, and, and and game dude and everyone else on orange there. Um, Spacey Lou, Sema. Shoutouts to you guys. But right now, dude, in this very weird game, where even is the podium? What? Oh, oh they, 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 they just couldn't make a play for it. Dude, game dude. Game dude was chasing Merrick down for a little bit there. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Game dude going to be grabbing that Rainmaker, going to have to run fast because they are being tracked by those duelies. Again, this is a 3v3 situation, so we're running into a weird, like, well, not everyone is uh, active in this game. Uh, unfortunately, due to that, due to the uh, disconnect there and into the mistake made. It's all good, though. Merrick, come around. What? Dude. That was actually a disappearing act for a second there. That was actually a disappearing act. The Rainmaker person disappeared from underneath. Wow, uh, from underneath the roller. But in comes Game Dude, going to be taken down to those suction bombs. But not after doing some good work. Right now, Warlord. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. 
With the thing, also, jelly is good. Let's go! Having jelly equipment filled with gashes. There we go. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to. Dude, I'm really looking forward to quipping a little bit. I'm really looking forward to quip. We're gonna be doing quip at like 715 to 720. We're gonna be doing like two more. Pretty much we're gonna be two, doing two more of these. Oh, dude, Sima. I thought they just jumped in the pond there. We're gonna be doing like two more games in this set. We're gonna be doing three more games after that. And then we're gonna be doing Jackbox. Just so the mods know what's up. Uh, and Jelly. Er, sorry, wires crossed. Taylo. If you could relay that to the to the staff primary that we're gonna be starting after the next set of people. Not this set, but after the next set of people. I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Meantime, Merrick coming in with the point right now. It is a Oof. It's 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 a winning game for Green right now. They need to find their in. They need to find their in. Orange is stalking them. Oh! Orange does get the pick, dude. Sema coming in there. I'm not sure if it's Sema or Sema, I'm not sure. But it is Disconnecta, because they are doing some lagging up. Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? What is happening? What is happening? No! Sema has disconnected! Wait, does that mean everyone on green can play? Or was it orange? Wait! Everyone on orange! Play! Spacey Lou, you're in! Spacey Lou, you've been tagged in! Everyone, someone has disconnected on orange! Spacey Lou, you're in the game now! You've been tagged in! <laughs> it's actually been made into a 3v3! What's even happening anymore? Wait, green is 2DCs? I've lost track! I have lost track. Do we have three DCs? Hold on, no, 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 no. We have two DCs from green, one from orange. I don't know what's happening anymore, chat. I do not know what is happening. But right now, green still has the lead and they've only been managing to push it up a little bit right now. This is looking good for them, giving that it's 50 seconds into this match, man. Spacey Lou coming in from the top, but Merrick does manage to splat them in a quick little bit of a trade there. Right now, our Dapple Dooley's Warlord is going to be trying to come in from the other side of the stage and play a little bit defensively to try and prevent any of a push right here. This is one of the best games we've ever had on the channel. And it's between two people in total throughout this entire game. Warlord coming in the side, going to absolutely shred through that player. Going to shred through that roller, too. Right now, Warlord with a good potential to actually take away a good part of this game here. Suction Bomb's going to be coming out. Their friend Merrick jumps in and grabs the Rainmaker. It's a two situation. It's a two person game. The tag team of Merrick and Warlord. Is it too much for Orange to handle? It seems to be. With only one person left alive, they're going for the Rainmaker. They do manage to kill the person with the Rainmaker, but they do go down in their set. It is overtime. Who will claim it? No one's alive. No one's even around. Can Orange do it? Can Green do it? Green with only two people. Warlord hiding in the wake there. Dude, Warlord knows what he needs to do. Comes around the side. Is going to try and assassinate the Rainmaker. Gets one. The Rainmaker's not dead though. And they do go down. The roller was not fast enough. Wow. They may be slow, but watch them go. What a weird game that was. What a weird game. Goodness me, Merrick with the 18 kills. Oh! <gasps> Shook. Exactly, man. Alright, now we're gonna do tower control. Hopefully, with like 200% less disconnect. We had three yeah, we had three disconnects. That's really funny. Alright, Frankie, you're gonna be on the on the spectating team. Beautiful. Hey, we got Jelly in here. Jelly is the moderator? He moderates these things? Wow. Give me sass. Je Jelly is like the, the person I sass the most on the moderator team. Like they all fit their, they all fit like, like personas really well. I don't know. Like I'm just saying you could, you could totally make an anime from the, from the moderator team. Who's the most likely to be a Sundere in, in, in the mod team? 
You've had a lot of responses. I've been building. No worries, dude. Act, like I'm, I'm, king, I'm, I'm sassing you. No worries. You, you, you know I don't. You know, you know I, I, I know you guys have lives and stuff. I understand that. Who's the most likely to be a Sunderay? Cass? Cass really isn't. She doesn't appear too much. I'm not a Sunderay. I just actually hate you. I think Azen could be a could pull off a good Sundere. I think Jelly is probably the most Sundere. Jelly is like probably yeah. Jelly is like the most Sundere. Goobs is like I, I I don't know. I'm not sure if Goobs could pull off a Sundere. Goobs just seems like too like actually nice. Worm? Well, the no, Worm is the quiet one. Worm is a hundred percent the quiet one. The Worm is the big sister. But if they're all Cinderay. Worm is the big sister. Um, what else? What else we got? Um, Taylo is the new girl. Um, dude, no, no, Rare, Rare Trin. Uh, now, now I'm just making it into like a high school. I'm making it into a high school anime, dude. Dude, a hundred percent, man. Um, it, I, I'm going to equate this this analogy, this whole little thing about it being a high school anime, okay? Dude, Worm, a transfer, yeah, transfer student is Taylor. That makes sense. Um, dude, Rare Train is the teacher. Rare Train is the teacher. I'm the president of the school, it's okay. But like, uh, Rare Train is 100% a teacher. Or like, the student council president or something. I could see that. They're like the strict one. Who else we got? Chris? Chris is like the Yandere? Probably Yandere. The one that kills people, right? Yeah. Or, the, or like the actual the actual crazy one. Jelly is not a professor. <laughs> this is not a diss to Jelly, but more a like Richard's already the professor. What about you, hot garbage? You're you're a student. You're 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 one of the background students. Only because it's a moderator themed anime. I'm not the professor. I'm literally the man who beats the main character. I'm, I'm not the main character. I would not be the main character in this. I I'm I'm I, I am the I'm the principal. I, I'm 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 creating this with the with the presumption that there is no main character. It's just a school that exists. Because having a main character would throw off the dynamic here. Also, because I don't want to think about me dating my moderators. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm be real here. I would be the main character because I'm the transfer student. That's true! Talo, Talo by nature would become the, the transfer student. I could see Talo as the main, the main character of a dating game. Involving the moderators. I could see that. They have the innocence for it. Hey, so if anyone wants to draw any fan art of this hypothetical game that I've created, or slash the, the, the dating game slash anime that I've created, please just drop that. Please drop that fan art <laughs> instantly. Taylo, if you had to date one of the mod, what, if you had to date one of the moderators, <laughs> what, what path would you go down? <laughs> what? what? What route would you go down? Also, good game to everyone involved. Sorry, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of caught up on this idea of, of moderators, of moderators dating. I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help but die. Who would you date, Taylor? No, <laughs> Taylor, real talk. Who would you date? Also, we had someone disconnect, unfortunately. I mean, that works out because now we can just be like, all right, cool, splat zones. Oh, unfortunately, Thomas, you are going to be put on spectator. You can join in future games, Thomas, because you, you, you aren't going to play anything. The fanfics are forming. Dude, can we get as many fanfics as possible of Taylor with every other moderator? Just a big old Venn diagram of regret. That's also the name of my new book coming out soon, Venn Diagram of Regret. One circle is my real life, the other circle is YouTube. And everything in the middle summarizes what the book is about. Stop putting thoughts in my head! 
Dude, and then we can have rival schools. Yo, we can have rival schools that are other YouTubers moderators. Like, like the rival school is like Vian, Viantastic High or something. Vian High. <laughs> this is why I sub to you. Is this why I'm a Twitch sub? <laughs> Next level fanfic. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forming a beautiful world. Oof, what, uh, what other YouTubers have as good a moderator as us? Like, that's the thing, though. Like, like we'd have to find... Wait, that, that, look. We have an interesting mod community. I gotta be, I gotta be honest, man. How would Zef fit into this? Dude, I don't know, man. We, we gotta keep weaving this theory, though. This is amazing. A whole new world! A whole wonder is... Discovery of regret. Green is getting wiped constantly. They're trying to kill, but blue is just coming in and killing them. I couldn't end that any, anywhere strong. Dude, Mario like actually lived pretty well there. Most of the YouTubers have like three moderators and we have like seven characters. That's true, man. Like we have a good collection. We have a history, man. Dude, and then we could have like we could have like a um, an arc where like Moonstar comes back to the school. Moonstar is like the like the like the thug who like dropped out of school. But then she has an arc where she like comes back. Dude, this is like this is a good thing. Also, real talk, oh, let's go blue! <laughs> that was a good that was a good third game. <laughs> GG's to everyone involved. That, those are some those are some fun games. Those are some fun games. Merrick with the 11 kills. Goodness me. All right, we're going to get into, um, we have an episode with anti-S characters. I could totally see that. Here, we're going to get in some new people. Uh, anyone who's joined the previous games, feel free to hop back in. Oh, multiplayer maps have been uh, updated. Neat. Pink Sheep would be the class bully. No, he's not a moderator. I mean, like, like, he's like another principal. I feel like every YouTuber involved in this hypothetical anime slash dating game, we're gonna call it an anime. Every YouTuber involved would have to be the, the principal, the, like the leading school. And Pink Sheep doesn't have any moderators, so he just runs like a clinic. <laughs> clinic of what? I don't know, hop in. Can't forget the obligatory beach episode. Oh, of course. Who's the childhood friend? Oh, who is the childhood friend? No base. <laughs> No, nor Nobis is the foreign student. Nobis is hundred percent the foreign student. But it's not it's <laughs> not even a girl. Nobis is just still like the 28-year-old man. <laughs> Nobis is hundred percent the foreign student. This is the best stream I've ever done. <laughs> Foreign childhood, right? No, of course, ev no, everyone that I'm describing is a girl. No, 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 this, you guys are all have all been gender bent. Except for Taylo. Taylo is not gender bent. Um, also, we're gonna do. Sorry, I, I, I blanked out. Welcome, everybody who's playing the game. As you can tell, my focus is not specifically on. On the games, right? <laughs> My focus is not specifically on the game right now. I hope people playing don't mind that because I'm having like this is like this is kind of funny. <laughs> Theory crafting here. I watch Phil over the fall. <laughs> Dude, what would this be called? It's it's, it's got to be like one of those um like like down. It's got to be like uh what what's it called um. Slice of, it's, a, it's a slice of life anime. It's, it's, a, it's a girl slice of life anime. 100%. <laughs> Damn, <it's, 
They always inspired me, though. One Piece at the Ninja Academy. But he could never quite do it. That's when he awakened his quirk. With the help of his idiot friends, he'll climb his way to the top. Woo! Oh, boy. With three horrible first seasons that involve him screaming, MONITA! Black Clover, Fail Bow, Naruto. Peace. <laughs> Come here. I'm not even playing, I'm not even pressing the buttons in the game. Let's go, each team individually. Woo! Jello says you date, you date Jelly? Yeah, but that's only the first, dude. Like, look. If, 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 oh, Jelly says they wouldn't date you though. Dude, this is getting real. This is getting saucy. Wait, Taylor would date Chris? I'm not, I'm not. Are you kidding me? I, I guess I'm the teacher. I'm not supposed to have a bias. Or I'm, a, I'm the principal. But what? Also, I'm sorry. That was a big slap towards Chris. Look, Chris. <laughs> Look, he's not here. It's okay. That's so it's like the best stream I've ever done. I boy, I boy, I can't wait till the mods, uh, you know, get into this call later. <laughs> That's gonna be a weird dude. Tuna's making some quick work out of these people, turning these squids into tuna themselves. Goodness me. Can I not be involved? Resign now. <laughs> Too late, my dude. Too late. Could someone? Oh, also, also, uh, real, real thing, real thing, real thing. Uh, moderators. Um. Could you pull up the Quiplash code for the fanboat uh, pack? I'd appreciate that. So that way we can just have that ready to go once uh, once this is over. Dude, here comes Tuna! I was scared for a second, man. Nender is a janitor. Nender is the failed student that became a janitor. Dude, Tuna with that amazing slap on play though. Tuna's going wild, man! What what level is Tuna? I wish I could see the levels from here. They're like really just sort of wrecking house right now. Also, we're seeing a lot of stingrays. Is that like back in the middle all of a sudden? Chris coming in with those uh Borellas though. Those Borellas. Oh my gosh. That's also a pretty good uh, place to launch a Borella. Although unfortunately now they have no uh oh, by the way, fun fact! The um shield part of umbrella is called a canopy. You guys know that? It's called a canopy. I saw that in the in the in the patch notes. Now I know. And more specifically, I knew that before but forgot about it. Yo, what is your filthy code? Uh, FC exclamation point FC and you can get it in chat. However, I'm not going to be adding more any more people today. The people that we're playing right now, this is going to be the last group. Until like, you know, next seven. Um also, in the future, I'm probably gonna do two-person games or have this section be a little bit longer. Just because we've only gotten three groups and usually I like to get in about five. And if we could start to get in like six groups, I'd feel good. Anyway, uh, feel about when will more scrapless pickles hit What? That's weird every so often. Coming from the streamer who's talking about how, like, his moderators should date in this weird gender-bent high school world. Good games to purple and green. <laughs> this is a, this was an interesting stream. So we're gonna flip on over to Quiplash. This is going to be probably one of the most. Wait, no, 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 no. What am I even talking about? What game was that? That was game number one. I'm sorry. Wow, I was just jumping way out there. My apologies. No, 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 no. We're, we're still we're still playing. We're still playing. My my bad. My bad. We're gonna do um, Rainmaker. This is random again. Bam. Uh, Wolverine, you are back in play. Kraken, you are not. There we go. Dude, Pika! Dude, Pika's the nerd. Pika's 100% the nerd. They're like, they're like the quiet nerd. They're, they're the one with glasses. That like everyone determines is their waifu. Because she's also shy. Like 
I would date none of you. Yeah, Jelly's the Cinderay. <laughs> Jelly is 10,000% the Cinderay. All right. Oh, I, like, I like how we're on this weird topic. And we got Soden Gay, whose name is just straight up Waifu God. Like, look. It, it's copywritten, too. This person owns all of them. They're a god of every waifu. That's incredible. You're forgetting Grind. That's right! Oh, I I, 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 I unfortunately just don't know Grind well enough to, 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 to demean him with these random personality traits that are slightly based off of small interactions we've had. Does that make me the loud nerd? No, Rarchin, you're a teacher. We, we, we have established that you're a teacher. I just woke up <laughs> completely off. Pikachu, dude, you're a shy girl. You're a shy anime girl that is the nerdy one of the group that has glasses. Also, Taylor wants to date you. Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> Pikachu, leave you don't want to be. Get out now! Don't be here for any longer. Dude, tune in now with the roller also. Tuna's been like making some plays here today. Also, Yellow needs to step it up a little bit. Goodness. Gren is the class pet? That's rude. Oh my god. This is amazing. That would be fun to be a part of Failboat's team. <laughs> it's uh it's a weird time. Oh no, Tuna is dead! Never mind, they're horrible at this game. Clearly. Oh no, wow! Dude, Jack at you with those rolls! Wow! Jack at you with that aimbot! <laughs> Not actually good. Client side lag for me. Wow. Unfortunately, someone just ran right by them, but they did it, uh, end up dying. So I guess that, that works out. Grant is a bird. Oh, I mean, hey, yo. I need to buy glasses for the effect. Exactly, man. Dude, this is gonna be like a 10 out of 10 clip flash section. Real talk? This is gonna be- Dude, I love how we're Wolf! Dude, Wolf produces walking with the 10 umbrella. It's like, well, I've done my job. I've fired my umbrella. That's all I will do now. Amazing. Uh oh. If moderator means being in an anime, I don't think I have- I- I, I want to have a goal to be one. <laughs> and Chris wants to kill Nender. Goodness me. Chris wants to kill everybody. They're the insane one. They're the insane chick. Azen, who would you be? Um, did, what, what did we have for Azen? What did we have for Azen? What was Azen's, uh, one? Is Azen, like, like the media nerd? Like, we have, like, like, no, I don't know about that. They're, they're the one who's, like, talented at everything, but they have to have some other bad quality about them. They're, they're the one that's, like, that's, like, the all-around student. But, but they, they have like some other like part. They have like some other thing. You're like Umaru. You're like good at everything, but you're also like an extreme weed. You're a hundred percent Umaru. Azen is the lazy one. No, no, no. I've determined. I've determined this character. I'm the lazy one. Yeah, but everyone can describe themselves as lazy. That's easy. Dude. He's a, he's a hundred percent. Are you all blind? He's the lazy one. I don't know, man. Ace is a hundred percent lazy. Yeah, but like. All right, all right. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm being I'm being vetoed. I'm being vetoed. Who is the villain? It's a slice of life anime. It doesn't have to have a villain. The villain can change depending on you know who is not being the most polite person at the time. Nobody does nothing. Wow, subtle tale, huh? Wait, so what sort of teacher? Am I like the knowledge is my passion sort, or the goal is to protect and teach my students? So I'm, I'm not paid enough to not care sort. I think you're like the, you're like the, the you, you, would, you, would, you would protect your students. Like, I mean, you're, you're like a teacher. You're like, they're acting out of line like, hey, I said, listen, you miscreants, you know, you wouldn't use that language, of course, but like, you know, you're, you're, like, a, you're like a more normal teacher. Also, let's go yell. <laughs> 
who would be the main character. Right now, there is no main exact character. It's it's sort of it's a slice of life. It sort of cycles between the main cast. The ban ruler. Oh no, sorry gamer. Sorry gamer. I'm, I'm kind of on a on a little gamer girl. I'm on a little bit of a roll right now of just of just uh hypothetically talking with with this mod thing. Uh was that two or three? That was two. We're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna hop over to Cliplash. Alright, bam, splat zones, go. It's gonna be me. Oh, sorry. Right. Kraken and 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 who is the Um I believe Wolverine has not sat out yet. This is like a bad stream. <laughs> Worst stream I've done yet. Uh, what is the age focus in the audience? Well, it's 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 normal anime. It's it's normal slice of life anime. We don't need to touch on the age. I want to be a mod. I'll feel left out. I'm sorry, guys. Normally, I, normally I focus on everyone in the chat. Right now, I'm giving it to the mods. This is a mod centric centric stream today. I gotta give it to them. They do a lot. They do a lot for this stream. Every so often, I gotta give it up for the mods. And you know what? If this stream involves me shipping them as weird anime girls that conform entirely into into tropes, and then you know move on to Jackbox, man, then that's what they're gonna get. We're gonna get the weirdest thing. Jeez. How do you become a mod? Right now, I'm not looking for any any new mods. Pretty much, my process of selecting a mod is if you are acting like a mod already, and then I just sort of like make you a mod. It sort of happens like that. It doesn't happen much though. If you ask for mod though, you're not gonna get mod. It just usually shows that you don't have the qualities for it. Not to say it's impossible, I'm just saying, you know, usually doesn't happen. I hate you with a burning passion. You're corrupting the fan base faster. You're corrupting the fan base, my dude. With this talk, it wouldn't surprise me. Ah, uh, you know what? Just for now, the chat's going off. I I I'm gonna give this attention to the li- We have one more game left. I've been robbing you guys of proper video game commentary. I'm gonna give this game a little bit of attention. Right now, I'm most excited. I'm looking at this kit. I'm seeing two interesting things. I'm seeing Jackachu rocking the Ninja Squid Dapple Doolies, which actually seems remarkably deadly. Um, and I'm also seeing the uh, the Kraken, the Kraken Splat Roller coming out from Kraken uh, using also on, on their kit. They have a bunch of sub power-ups to make it so people are gonna be able to jump to their points a lot faster. That's pretty cool, man. Also, Doug Wow rocking that Ninja Squid. Ninja Squid's really cool, man. It's making point sense to become way more of a valuable sub. And uh, ironically, Cold Blooded is a way more valuable of a counter. Right now, v a Vito getting pinned a little bit up there with those Tenta missiles. And right now, Blue is in a very solid control of this game. Doug fading back a little bit as those missiles come down upon them. Take out Waipu God, a hero to us all. But that baller from Kraken coming in from the side though, going to try and take out one point. Does take out one person. Did a pretty that was a pretty good push. That was a pretty good push. Right now, Jackachu, the lone defender pretty much of this point right here. Gonna be placing a couple beacons. Dude, Jackachu's plays are pretty cool. Oh! That suction bomb! Not shield, but coverage on the on the ground there. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good indeed. That carbon roll are also pretty good indeed. Right now though, Vito just hanging above in the skies here, just raining down ink. If you can control this middle section, you control a lot of this map. Bubbler gonna be coming out, providing some nice pressure to anyone who dares to approach. Jackachu though, coming in from the side though, I wish my controller would respond correctly. Jackachu coming in from the side, gonna be taking one of those points. Right now, Green needs to get on the board, going to be going down to that Carbon Roller, Yoshi, Yoshi ID, or, or, or Yoss Head, <laughs> if you want to pronounce it probably incorrectly, gonna be getting that kill. I like seeing Carbon Rollers, they actually have some promise right now, and I want to see what else they can do. Tuna now with the Mini Splatling, speaking of weapons with promise, the Mini Splatling, man, I really like how this weapon looks. Burst Bombs, Tenta Missiles, it's a really interesting kit, I, I, especially the burst bombs. I, I like what they got. But right now, they don't have the tools to deal with Vito jumping in their face, going from player to player wall jumping like a Genji with that sword always in effect. 
looking really good right now. Looking very, very good right now. And blue with a very nice hold of this point. Green cannot find their in. Just going down one after another. Not really hiding in as a group. Just sort of charging in one after another for blue to just slaughter. However, I say that they did manage to at least get the point for a little bit. At least putting a little bit of a bonus timer on green's side. However, Dogwow not going to have that have them let them have that too easily. But now, dude, this is the thing that happens every time you do Black uh Black Valley Skate Park. This weird back and forth of like, well, I have one point, the enemy team has the other point. Well, I have the other point, but now the enemy team has the team I the point I had before. It happens so much, man. People just keep on walking in circles trying to paint, you know, the uh the point that they don't have and in turn they lose the point that they already had in the first place. That bubbler though going to be really good back in the play in the flavor of blue. This is really strong, man. This is very strong right here. I want to see, though, what Kraken do, can do. I think... Wow, nice kill. I think Kraken has some really good potential right here with their weapon kit. Just some nice beacon plays. Just to be able to place a bunch of those and uh, let their team jump in. Hey, if you're on green, use Kraken's uh, beacons. It's going to be pretty useful in, in order for you guys to get back into the game. Because right now, they do have a deficit. They are 50 seconds behind. But if blue captures it at any point... At any time in this, they will uh, be getting some bonus timers right now. That bubbles, those bubbles rather, are going to have a nice impact on uh, Blue's ability to push this point right here. Waf waifu God, Waffle God, Wa Waffle God, um, coming in from the side here, going to be painting that point over a little bit. And it does look like Blue had control for just a long enough for uh, that timer to be going up. And wow, Waifu God rocking the thermal link, yeah. What an, you don't usually see that ability rock, and I think it's actually pretty good, especially for the weapon that they happen to be using right now. I want to see what they can do. Crisp, though, going to be climbing up the side of the tower with those duelies in hand, the normal hero duely, splat duely kit. I'm liking what they could potentially be doing here. We haven't focused too much on Crisp. I want to see what they can do. Oh, unfortunately, they did roll into, I believe, either Yoshi's or Vito's um, just onslaught of ink, and right now... It is back in blue control. Green needs to find the rain, man. We have 10 seconds left, and they got 40 seconds of holding to do. That's a lot of time. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it unless they can get a couple clutch picks and control the points right now. But it looks like blue is overwhelmingly holding the points, and that is going to be the game. Thank you very much, all you wonderful people, for watching the Splatoon section of today's stream. We're going to be switching over to Quiplash in about five minutes, so stay tuned for that. That should be very fun. We're going to have um, some moderators and admins on the call, so it's not going to be just me talking, and that's usually not how it goes. So I'm looking forward to that change of pace. Uh, it should be a very fun one. We're going to be continue continuing more Splatoon in the future. We got that Splatfest coming up more so in the future. Very much looking forward to that. Team Sweaters, let's go. Thank you for watching. Tune next time for whatever I feel like doing. This has been halfway through in the meantime. We will be back with Quiplash in about five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. The stream will be right back on in five minutes. See you in a little bit.